I guess I'll start this reflection by posing the following question, which is, what kind of person do we want to be? Who do we want to be? What qualities do we want to emulate? What kind of confidence do we want to embody? What kind of jazz do we want to become? And, you know, I'm reminded of, a, of an archetype that was analyzed in a video essay by a YouTuber called Like Stories of Old. And he spoke of a particular kind of masculinity. He spoke of a particular kind of swagger. He spoke of a particular kind of embodiment, a particular kind of confidence, a particular kind of way of showing up in the world. And he likened this archetype to the Tyler Durden character played by Brad Pitt in Fight Club. And he spoke of this character as a compelling figure that invites us into a kind of trance. There's an entrancing quality to this Tyler Durden archetype, to the Bodhi character in the film Point Break. We all want to be like Bodhi. And the question is, what makes Bodhi so compelling? What makes Tyler Durden so compelling? And in the words of this YouTuber, well, that's the infectiousness of the unconflicted man. Apparently, that's a term. I'm not sure who coined it, but the infectiousness of the unconflicted man is a very real thing. The unconflicted man is a man who doesn't believe nor doubt, he knows. The infectiousness of the unconflicted man comes from a kind of intuitive knowing, a cool swagger. It's Paul Newman in Cool Hand Luke. The infectiousness of the unconflicted man is a kind of, is a kind of archetype that points the way to our inner Vitruvian man. You know it when you see it. You have to go there to know there. You must become what you behold. And we are inspired by these characters on screen, by the luminosity that they seem to emanate, by the swagger and way in which they show up in the world. And the question becomes then, how, perhaps through a process of osmosis, can we absorb those qualities? How do we evoke those qualities? How do we give birth to those qualities within ourselves? How do we assume the role <laughs> of the unconflicted man? How do we become the unconflicted man? How do we learn to emanate and, and, and disclose and evoke in others the infectiousness of the unconflicted man? And it is this question, it is this, this challenge that I pose myself at this moment in my life, the astounding frontier of the present moment, as I lean into the abyss, as I, as I leap into the trust fall, I take a leap of faith, and together we go be young men together again. You know, this is my challenge in this moment in my life. This is my invitation into myself. This is my bliss fuck crucifixion. This is my Cristo Redentori, you know. This is to, to finally assume the viewpoint, assume the vantage point, to become, to become the infectiousness of the unconflicted man. <laughs> and to gaze into the horizon and to stare into the sunset and to marvel at the realization, to, to sit in the gratitude, to, to, to evoke the serenity to not believe nor doubt, but to know, but to know, but to know.